got a new project. Where I went to college, what I did, does relate to current events. That's another thing that I like towards the end of my day. Good morning guys and happy Thursday. I decided during my workout this morning to just pick up the camera and vlog today. So today will be a little work from home day in my life. I don't know, I'm really excited. I hit my January goal to have 500 subscribers by the end of the month, which is literally crazy considering my channel's only three months old. But if you guys are watching and you're subscribed, thank you so much for the support and for believing in me. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit subscribe. <laughs> the workday is about to start and 8:35, and I'm about to log on but I just want to put my lotion on because my skin is so dry and then we'll start our work day today's Thursday and I don't think I've actually ever vlogged on like the second half of the work week so this will be kind of interesting to show you guys it's not really much different but I feel like I approach the end of the week differently and my mood is definitely different as I'm getting more excited for the weekend so I want to stay productive and get stuff done. I have some project work to do and just overall like internal things for my job. If you guys don't know I am a government contracts consultant at an accounting firm in the Tysons DC area so that's a little about my job. I work in consulting so I can't really tell you anything about like my clients or anything but I will just show you guys me working and we can be productive together today. I did all my skincare and my lotion, so let's just go ahead and log on for the day. Girl, looking at a face I don't recognize today myself. Don't know what to say, things ain't the same I felt. That we lost a way, the street is two ways, and girl. Since today is Thursday, we don't have a Monday, Wednesday, Friday call. It's 8.35, I'm just gonna go straight on and start work. I wrote down some things I wanna do today. I basically just wanna get some internal stuff done and my first meeting is at 10 for some recruiting things. And then I have some project work that I can just, I got a new project so I want to spend time today and just get familiar with what background of the project is and just, I just need to read more things and just become more familiar with what I'm doing and what the project is about and who the client is so that's mostly what I'm gonna do today I wrote it all down so that I can confirm that everything's all done by the end of the day and we'll see what else we can add to our list today but for now I think I think that's good for now an espresso pod because my espresso broke and so I had to ship it back to them and they had to fix it for like two weeks so I just got my Nespresso back yesterday and so I'm having my first Nespresso for the first time in two weeks and I'm so happy. I like the Keurig cups but Nespresso is just so much better and Carter if you're watching I know you can agree with me. It's just really good. <laughs> okay, so I actually have a call at 9.30, so I'm going to just make sure that I have everything ready for that. I have a lot of stuff to do today, a lot of calls, so I'll take you guys through all of them. My old lovers fall into my covers Where they sink one by one yeah, I watch them disappear to nothing. Hi, Disposable I'm doing good. How are you? Gum. It's been feeling there long. I deal with guns where yeah. I come from. My family don't suffer. Fools glad they know. Do we kiss and lie in bed? Okay, hello guys. It is 12 o'clock and I was on back-to-back -back meetings literally all morning. We still have stuff on our to-do list. I'm really hungry, but I want to get this draft email out first before I take a break. I don't know. I was in calls and calls are good, but I need to like get something done. And so I want to get that email out and then we'll go take a break for lunch. But I want breakfast tacos. I'm on a kick with breakfast tacos because I got tortillas this week. So we're gonna make that. But first let's draft our email and get our to-do list something crossed off of that. For lunch today, my 
I put tortillas in the air fryer and they kind of like exploded and like ripped apart because I just put it on air fry because I was too impatient. But we have our breakfast tacos that are just kind of like beaten up, but here's what they look like. And then I have these mini banana bread bites that my mom made me. It's actually one o'clock because I feel like I couldn't have eaten lunch until I had finished that one thing just because I knew it wasn't going to take too long and all my calls had ended. So I just wanted to get my task done and then I can eat. So it's okay. Usually I'd have one of these, but I'm having two because I waited. <laughs> I realized that I didn't give you guys any background on like my education and stuff. So for my lunch break, let's talk about where I went to college, what I did. So you guys know that I work for government contracting, consulting for an accounting firm. I went to the University of Maryland. I actually entered college as a government major because I was interested maybe in law. I ended up switching out of that major because I wasn't interested in it anymore. And so sophomore year, I applied to the business school at Maryland because you had to like apply to transfer in. So I did that and I got in and so I changed my major when I was a sophomore to finance really good <laughs> But yeah, so I actually found this company that I work for now. I found it in college because when I had first transferred into the business school, I had no idea what to do. I just knew I wanted to do finance, finance or accounting. When I was looking at the career portal that my business school had to find like internships and stuff, I just went on that right away when I transferred in so that I could get like a jump start on stuff because I was like a late transfer. Most people at the business school started their freshman year, so I felt like I had to like catch up by looking for internship opportunities. So we had a portal and that's how I found this company they were doing like a spend a day with our company and I did that and yeah that's how I found the company that I work for. I ended up interning there because they offered me an internship the summer after my junior year and then I did the internship that summer loved it and I was lucky enough to get a job offer from them and then I took it so yeah I actually had a really relaxing senior year because I already had my job I feel very fortunate how I stumbled upon my company and that I'm just thankful to still have a job and I like the people that I work with so that's always important too what what made me stay with this company and not even really look around was just that I got along so well with the people that I worked with. And I think that's the most important thing, especially when you're working in business. If you like the team, then that's a pretty good sign that you would enjoy working there. So yeah, that's a little bit about my education background and how I stumbled upon my company. And now I work in consulting and I really like it. If there's anything else specific that you guys want to know about my career path as a new postgrad, then just let me know and I will answer it for you in my next work from home day in the life. But I'm glad that you guys like these. I like them too. They're pretty fun. Battery's about to die, so I'm going to turn the camera off, finish my breakfast, and then get back to work. But, but yeah, this was a nice little lunch break to hang out with you guys. Okay guys, I did make a second cup of coffee, but it's half-calf. It's fine. <laughs> I also realized I forgot to tell you guys my work from home outfit today because you know I like to wear comfy cute. So I'm wearing my Whitney Simmons X Gymshark joggers that was from her last drop and then this is just a adidas crop top that i think i got from finish line it's my work from home outfit today no makeup or anything but honestly my skin has been pretty good lately so i'm just gonna ride with that wave and see how long that lasts me but we have our afternoon coffee and there's still some stuff to finish up i've gotten a good amount of stuff done i honestly need to get like decaf coffee because i just like having coffee as like my midday tree it's like part of my routine to have coffee in the afternoon which is so not good but when I don't have it I'm just sad so I'm having my half calf coffee from Nespresso and let's see something that I can tell you about with my job is I'm helping one of my team members with a tracker for current news basically I'm just keeping a tracker of anything that the Biden administration releases in terms of executive orders or anything related to COVID-19 can affect maybe government contracts because that's the industry that I'm in so I feel like that's all I can really tell you but yeah it's cool because this job does relate to current events and how the government responds to things like the pandemic is really important so so it'll affect government contracts which is why it's important for us to know what's going on that's just a little bit of my corporate job but I'm gonna work on that for this afternoon it's around three o'clock now and, and yeah let's just do some research Hero, but 
But I can't get out of bed There's too much in my head Okay, hello guys, it is 5.11 and aren't you guys so glad that we're done with the winter portion of lighting and it doesn't get dark at like 4.30 anymore? Because I know I am. The sun is starting to set now and I'm basically done my work today. Let's see. I basically have everything crossed off my list today and what a productive day, honestly. I didn't even take the break that I usually take when I like need one, but I just didn't really feel like I needed one today. I got everything that I needed to done in a good amount of time. It just always helps to have these to-do lists because I don't really need a planner for work. I just need to know what my tasks are for that day and I have like my Outlook calendar so I know everything that's coming up. But for work, I like to have notepads and to-do lists. So you guys have seen my bullet journal, but for work, I just like like to keep this little notepad so that's everything for that something I also like doing towards the end of the day is before I log off I just like to look at what my meetings are for the next day so that just so that I have an idea of what the next day will look like and it's not like a complete surprise when I open my laptop in the mornings so that's another tip that helps me a lot working from home I don't feel as anxious logging on for work so yeah that's another that's another thing that I like towards the end of my day I think overall this was a pretty good work from home day and I know that you guys love these and I'm trying to incorporate more of of just hanging out with you during my work day while still being productive. So let's finish our freaking day. So I'm just going to put in my time. Okay, we put in our time for the day and now we are done. This is always the best part. Okay, so we logged off and before I log off with you guys, let's get our freaking glass of wine. Now we have our glass of wine, our post work reward. That's it for today's work from home day in my life. I hope you guys had fun. I hope you guys just put this on the background and either did work with me or took a break and hung out with me today. But either way, I hope you guys are having a good day. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So yeah, make sure you're subscribed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. But until then, I miss you already.